Jay Quellen. No Jay Quellen here? Balake. Where is Balake at? A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron is right here, everyone. Thank you for watching. You know, every day is a good day if it's one day closer to seeing Scientology's tax exempt status revoked. So happy Saturday and welcome back to the channel. We've got a little bit of a treat today. Today I wanted to dip into the archives and take a look at an excerpt of a Tom Cruise interview. Um, this is on David Letterman. I'm pretty sure this is from way back in 1999. Now guys, what we're about to watch here was Christian Bale's inspiration for his character in the movie American Psycho. Christian Bale's character in that movie was patterned after Tom Cruise, specifically Tom Cruise in this interview telling this story. Watch this clip with me. This is only a few minutes long. Watch this with me and then we'll talk a bit about it. Two kids uh, much older than mine, they're like eight and 10, something yeah, like nine that. Yeah, 9 and 11. Yeah, what, what is that like having kids? <laughs> I don't know. Close, right? Yeah, close yeah. enough. What kind of stuff do you guys do? Uh, you know, we go climbing, ride motorcycles. Really? And... You go climbing? Sure. Like like mountain sort of stuff? Yeah, yeah, ropes and yeah. climb up. So actual technical climbs? Technical climbs. Like like what peaks? Anything that we would know? Uh, no, just walls right now. We're just practicing on walls. <laughs> you know, rock walls. Yeah. But yeah. but you yourself, house and... you yourself actually go out and climb mountains, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I'm not a great climber, but I enjoy it. Wait, how often do you go and where do you go? Everywhere, you know, uh, Colorado, you know. Uh... I do just want to jump in and say, it's a little bit of a breath of fresh air to see normal Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise didn't achieve his final and ultimate form of super Scientologist until 2005. This is like normal, low key, laid back, not like everything's gotta be like really high strung and high enthusiasm. Anyway, it's a little refreshing, I gotta say. Uh, do some climbing there and uh... Just different places in Europe. And what is your fascination with that activity? Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Seems like a good it's question. Something that's uh, it's very peaceful. Yes, it's relaxing. Now, do you go with a, a large group? No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. No, no I, I want a very strong person up there in case I fall. If the whole group goes, you know, <laughs> then you go. <laughs> then, then we all go. <laughs> you know. Have you ever had a close call? No. And is it the kind of thing it takes more than one day to get to the summit? You, you camp along the way, or is it... <laughs> I, don't... <laughs> I don't know. What... No. Is it me? Something no. Wrong? <laughs> no, some, I haven't done the overnight. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, right. certain walls take, you know, you sleep overnight. I haven't done that. Haven't done and, and some guys do that. The highest elevation you've climbed? I guess 14.5, something like that's, that. That's pretty high? Yeah. 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 Pretty good? I remember, uh, I, I didn't know anything about uh, ACS, acute AMS, acute mountain sickness. I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. Has anything like that ever happened to you? Have you ever had been woozy at altitude? No, but I, you know, I fly, I'm a pilot, and uh, I was, uh, one time we were flying to Colorado, and I was flying this airplane that we had to go on oxygen, and the uh, winds were better at a higher altitude, so I, we climbed up, and uh, I realized that we couldn't stay at that altitude if... Uh, on oxygen, I had to descend because I didn't have enough oxygen. Mm -hmm. So I had a passenger in the back. So we figured out, you know, me and the co-pilot, that if we turned the oxygen off in the back guy, that we could make it at this altitude. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, you know, it wasn't dangerous or anything, you know. <laughs> so, now, what, now what happened when you turned his oxygen he off? Felt, he was very quiet. He felt. <laughs> He fell asleep. He fell asleep. <laughs> he slept the whole way. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, but uh, was, you know, he's the kind of guy you wanted to have him sleep the whole way. You know, it's like just. But you know, but, but honestly, looking at it from another direction, isn't that a isn't that attempted manslaughter? <laughs> you just turn a guy's oxygen off. You're lucky you're not doing time for the love of God. <laughs> he woke up. He did wake up, yeah. You know, when we were landing uh -huh. on descent, he... My hands are... 
<laughs> he said my... She's my hit. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are your old hands. <laughs> oh, he said my hands are tingling. I, I slept the whole. He said, Must have been the way I was laying. <laughs> I said you yeah, must have been the way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't getting enough oxygen to his brains. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, I know. Well, it's oh God. Funny now. Oh, no. <laughs> <It's> funny now. <laughs> Yow! No, it wasn't such a high altitude that it would have, you know, uh, sure, that's... caused death or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just the occasional just numbness of numbness extremities. <laughs> Oh, do you have a Kleenex? My yeah, we'll get you. The <laughs> thing there. Oh. All right, well, thank you, Frank. We'll be right back with Tom. I, I thought that was hilarious. I mean, what makes it funny for me is not the story so much as uh, how amused he is by the story. I get the exact same way when I'm playing the cards. Um, what is it? Cards Against Humanity. And, uh, and I'm the guy that's got to read the card and read the answers. And my inability to read one of the answers without laughing exactly like that uh, makes the game more entertaining for everyone. <laughs> So if you just Google Christian Bale, American Psycho, Tom Cruise, you'll see all sorts of references to how Tom was the inspiration. This is just one that came up. So for example, Christian Bale's American Psycho inspiration wasn't a slasher, it was Tom Cruise. Christian Bale's portrayal of the murder psychopath Patrick Bateman has become iconic. In American Psycho, Bateman's off-putting personality and over-the-top reactions in his head are disturbing and yet somewhat believable. However, despite Christian Bale's exaggerated performance, he decided to model Bateman after a real person to give us authenticity, except it wasn't modeled off of a serial killer, but movie star Tom Cruise. When Patrick Bateman isn't being serious or villainous, he often wears a big grin, speaks in a forcibly happy manner. It almost feels like he's not human, but instead someone observing humans and figuring out how they should behave in situations. In the same interview with Heron, that's Mary Heron, she's the director of American Psycho. In the same interview with Heron, she recalled that one day Bale phoned her and said he'd found the inspiration from watching Tom Cruise during a David Letterman interview. Interview. Heron described Cruz as having this very intense friendliness with nothing behind the eyes, and that Bale was really taken aback by his energy. He thought it would naturally fit into the unnatural business world of American Psycho. There are numerous interviews that can be found online which fit the description Christian Bale gave. Tom Cruise is often very intense and always comes across as incredibly happy due to his big cheesy grin and exaggerated movements. Though it's hard to judge, some people see this as being forced, like Patrick Bateman while others see it as being genuine and enthusiastic. Either way, there's no denying a certain unnaturalness to his behavior, hence why Christian Bale thought it would be perfect for American Psycho. Now, American Psycho, the movie came out in April 2000, so realize whatever inspiration Christian Bale was taking from Tom Cruise being on David Letterman, it was before any of the real Scientology craziness started uh, in 2005. And this clip, this story, uh, I have read somewhere that it was this specific story he took inspiration from, but that story did come uh, in 1999. So it is, you know, date coincident to um, when American Psycho would have been filming and whatnot. So I, got, I wanna know what you guys think down below. I think that story is hilarious. I don't actually read a whole lot of like, maliciousness or whatever else the word uh, might be. Like, I don't see that as Tom Cruise being like, not self-aware that this is a really horrible story and, 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 that, and that that is like juxtaposed to him finding it really, really funny. I actually genuinely find that story funny. Do you find that just like a genuinely funny story or do you find that that sort of betrays uh, kind of an underlying uh, kind of lack of humanity and empathy in Tom Cruise. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And before I sign off, guys, I just passed 90,000 subscribers. My goal is to hit 95 by this coming Friday and then 100 by the Friday after that. So I actually never ask people to subscribe in my videos and I'm grateful that so many of you have. So for this week only and probably next week as well, I'm going to ask if you like what I do here, Please subscribe. Help me reach 95,000 by this Friday. Thank you, everyone. That's all I got for now. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you to everyone who watches until the very end, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay.
if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see a, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right here. Bye!